pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning in the top left hand corner as the Teal Tavern, it is Lualis. And his opponent, though. His opponent, playing for Lowland Lions, spawning in the top right position, is the orange Zerg player. It is Yona. Yep, uh, like you mentioned, uh, he's, he's doing excellent for himself today. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that the, after the first four qualifiers, he's like, nope. Today it is just going to happen. I'm just going to tear through, and uh, I have a feeling he might, uh, especially after seeing uh, the first game. But uh, Noalis can still turn this around, uh, though. I mean, he played a very aggressive style, but I feel like on Habitation Station that has more chance of succeeding. Mm, it it might have, it might have, but at the same time, it is you know, Yona has been favoring gasless openings, and I I have a feeling he's going to do the same thing on this map. And it is pretty easy to defend on Habitation Station, uh, even with a gasless opening. Speaking of openings, we have a barracks with no gas coming out of uh, Lou Aulis here. Um, now, why is it so easy to defend? Because you have a ramp at your natural base that is not too wide, so you can kind of semi-wall that off. And then the Reapers will be having a hard time microing between the main and the natural base. Uh, of the Zerg player because there is only so much little area that they can utilize to abuse the cliff mechanic in StarCraft 2. So Yona should be quite fine and he is getting the hatch first followed by a pool. No gas is being taken so the same opening for him as in the previous ZVTs we've seen. I'm gonna be a little bit surprised what uh, what Luval is gonna do here though. He's gonna rally out Marines. He's rallying them uh to the natural expansion, so he could just be going for an expansion, but he took his gas at a really uh, a little bit of an awkward uh, anti-timing, I would say. Mm. Um, so we're gonna have to see what he does with that, but Jonah did uh, did opt to scout the barracks, but didn't scout the fact that if there was gas or not. Uh, so we're gonna have to see if he makes something happen, but Jonah opening very uh, very similar, right, uh, to the last game. Yeah, in fact he, he opened in exactly the same fashion. So Lualis is the one mixing it up, and he's going with a more, with more of a traditional opening mm -hmm. here. He gets two marines, and he'll be getting a reactor and a factory most probably here uh, behind this. Uh, or yeah, maybe this is like the Wings of Liberty opening, right? Uh, yeah, one of one, one of those. Yeah. Well, just gonna go and uh, make a command center after that. Yep, the factory is being uh, laid down. This used to be the, the bread and butter of every Terran player, but once someone does it uh, now, it seems a little bit awkward, seems a little bit old-fashioned, but sometimes yeah. something old-fashioned can uh, work very well, right, Bill? Yeah, especially on this map where you have the ramp at, at, the natural, uh, at the natural base, because it works both ways. You know, you can be defensive as the Terran player as well as the Zerg player. And now with the four Marines, the Lynx, I don't... Ah, uh, Yona did get one Marine there for his trouble. I uh, don't know how much that was worth to him, but at least he knows the expansion is on the way. He did get the scout off onto the factory. Just by the timing, he has to be scratching his head a little bit and uh, has to go like, wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. And is he going to be taking a third base? No, he's going... He's going for, is he, is he going for the two base play again here? Uh, it feels like he might be. Um, the only thing though, I think he, he started gas a little bit later. Than yeah, he did. He did. He, did. he does go for the double gas again to make it uh, make up for the fact that he hasn't been mining gas. But I feel like it's a little bit delayed uh, compared to the other two games we've seen from him. It is. Usually you take those gases at around 5 minutes. 5.30 the latest. So even if this was the 5:30 timing, it was a little bit, little bit delayed, and we can already see the already see the difference in the gas and mineral counts here. But uh, yeah, Yona going to be going for that two base play once again, getting the lair, two additional gases in the main base, uh, going for the quick mutas once again. This time around with this opening that Lualis is doing, however, I don't know if this will work. Uh, he's going for a Medivac Marine Hellion timing here, and I don't know if Yona will be able to hold this. He will have absolutely no links. The Queens will go down to the Marines. Uh, this, this could be difficult. I'm not going it's gonna to be, lie. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to hold for Jonah than the last aggression in, in the last game. 
Uh, shop, look at this, the Baning Nest. Yeah, he knows, he's getting the Baning Nest, he smells Spike something, brawler. but uh, I, I just have to wonder, is this too late? Um, 12 lanes know, on mean, the way? The Baning, the, the Baning are gonna definitely help against uh, against this, but the Zerklings are not that much gonna help. The Spine Crawler, however, is a nice addition, and he's got a lot of queens, so he could make something work, but he has he has to have a very good defense. The Heli is just running in right now, Bell. They could take a lot, a lot of these drones as well. Oh, they will! They yeah. will! The drones and the uh, and the Zerglings. Eight drones have gone down so far. The drop in the main base still alive, but is very slowly, slowly, very slowly getting cleaned up. And here come the Hellions. The oh. drones are all stacked up. The Queens... Yes, oh, such micro, such micro much amaze. Come on, Yona, you can do it. Oh, the Hellions get taken out in the end. Fourteen of them have died. The Zerg is down to 32. And now the link speed finally finishes. Uh, and, and now... It's time for a Banshee, right? <laughs> yeah, because there is no Spire, there is no third base, Spire only now c going down for Yona, so this has been already delayed. And if the if Luolis continues to pressure, Yona will be forced to build Banelings, which cost gas, which will limit his Mutalisk number uh, in the in the long, long run. Uh, this Banshee for the time being has been defended, and I have to wonder what the follow-up... Oh wow, is this going to be just... Wow, just a marine tank banshee play? Wow, 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 wow. What a build coming out of Luolis. Very interesting. Yep, this uh, this build almost reminds me of how great it was against uh, <laughs> Protoss at one point, having this unit composition. But yeah, it, um, it can It can still work. I mean, uh, if the creep spread doesn't go out of hand, the tanks can get into a really good position. The third base from Jonah should be cancelled, no matter what. I feel like... Um, but there is a Spire on the way, and there are, is Baning Speed on the way, and Jonah is recovering slowly. But yeah, he there is, is going to be a time where Luales, if he sets a tank up very nicely, he can get at least a contain and kill the third base, but he could potentially just kill Jonah as well. Yeah, he could. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem to me like he is going for another base himself. Oh my god! Only now is he getting Stim. Oh, he that's will... actually a surprise. Yeah, that's... Uh... Huh. Ah, that was that was because he was for such a long time he was on that reactor to uh, barracks for some reason I thought he was going to switch that up with the starport when he pushed out and get a tech lab on that but he never he never did that and there is one lonely tech lab over here <laughs> I wonder what happened there but this this is definitely not the way this build is supposed to work I don't think or maybe this is the exactly the way it's supposed to work. I mean, the combat shields are synced up with the stim this way. And here come the first Mutalisks. Uh, not, not much anti-air. There are 22 Marines, but they have to come in. And without stim, it's going to be difficult to catch those pesky flying beasts. It's only uh, it's only four harassing right now, though. Until yeah. the, uh, the reinforcements uh, for the Mutalisks come in, it's not going to do that much. He already killed a SCV, which is more than... Uh, more than nothing, I assume, and uh, it's gonna keep the Terran contained a little bit, and I think Jonah needs exactly that, because he needs a little bit of time to uh, clean everything up. The bench, he might go down, though, to the Muta. Almost. Yeah, it might. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, it uh, did cloak in the... time, but... I mean, Jonah is getting his upgrades right now, which Terran player has not... I think not... he could potentially kill that tank, if he's quick. Ah, uh, he could. Yep, yeah, he will definitely get it. Yep. And Yona is... I think he has to be really happy with what he sees here. He knows there are no turrets, he hasn't seen a single engineering bay, he knows he will be ahead in upgrades, uh, but he has to hold off this push. Luolis is moving out on the map. This will be a very strong, powerful poke at the Zerg player. And uh, He sees it coming though, that's gonna be uh, key to holding it, I feel yeah. like. And he has to get the mutants into a good position, he's doing just that right now. He's, he's trying to pick up tanks. Almost one muta goes down, and that would have been a shame. But uh, here comes the push, and uh, this is Luwales' time to shine, and he needs a lot of Banelings to he hold it. He needs to siege up, up more than anything. A lot of Banelings, and he needs to siege up as well. And this oh. is going to be a, a hard defense. But oh, so smart, though. If Yona goes with this group of Banelings on the high ground, if he goes mm -hmm. with them from the back, and the rest of the army from the front, he will just overrun... The Mutas are dying though, all of them are going down, like, 
He's already killed like seven Mutas, so that's such a waste. Yeah, he has, and right now this is a very tense moment here. A forward group of infantry units here for the Terran player, making sure that Lualis can start kiting back uh, as soon as he sees a sign of Yona trying to break this contain. And he even baits some units into the tank fire. Uh, yeah, this is this is exactly how this push actually works. Um, if you get surrounded, though, as a Terran player, you you just get demolished. Yeah. Because, because you can't. There is no way to kite for you. Oh, this this move could could be. Yeah, th that could have been really bad for Yona. Yeah. He relies on that flank to make this happen, and I think he was just waiting for the one one to finish. And he's going to go now. The upgrades are done. A lot of the script spread is being reduced, though, and without yeah. the creep, there's not going to be the mobility. And uh, you can see that even though this is a, a timed push, the Wallace is really waiting for the creep spread to reduce before going in, because he knows he's going to get crushed if, if everything runs in from, from all sides. And if he can start sieging a little bit closer to this ramp, it's going to become harder and harder uh, for but to get out of this mess. Lualis does not have the tower. He doesn't know oh, this wait, flank is coming. Time. Yona oh, is pushing from all the sides. Demolishing everything, the tanks don't stand a chance, they failed to take care of the bailings, so many bailings rolling in, everything dying. Oh my goodness. GG I suck gets called <laughs> instead of just the GG. And Yona qualifies, congratulations.